After three decades of waiting, it's finally here. The world's first next-generation stealth bomber. The perfect embodiment of a century of technological advancements, it was built by Northrop Grumman in close partnership with the U.S. Air Force, with parts sourced from 400 suppliers across 40 states. This is the B-21 Raider, and it is everything the most powerful bomber in history should be. The aircraft was officially unveiled on December 3rd in a rollout at Northrop Grumman's facility in Palmdale, California to take its place as the first bomber of the 21st century, while also making the most imposing stare-down against non-allies of the U.S., the second major stare-down in a single week. The first was 40% of the entire B-2 Spirit fleet making an elephant walk, demonstrating the capability and readiness of the U.S. to deal with the most threatening of threats. To this, China responded with an elephant walk of its own, involving, like the U.S., its most powerful operational bombers. And like the U.S., a new bomber is also on its way in the country. All of these could only signify the heat-up of a power-shifting bomber's race. For the first time in history, at the culmination of the recent Spirit Vigilance 22 training exercise, the world saw one of the coldest elephant walks in history involving eight B-2 stealth bombers. Until the new B-21 earns operational status, the B-2 remains America's most lethal, most strategic aircraft, and by far the most expensive too, with a $2 billion price tag. The Air Force currently operates only 20 B-2s. Eight of them involved in this elephant walk is a hefty 40% of their entire fleet, which signals one thing. This was more than a walk it was a preparation. Supporting this point was Captain Richard Collier, the Director of Operations of the Spirit Vigilance Exercise, who made clear that the activities would demonstrate to near-peer adversaries, as well as the U.S. itself, how well the Air Force could perform. One of these adversaries could be North Korea, as tensions continue to rise on the Korean Peninsula. In fact, not too long after the elephant walk, North Korea tested its Hwasong-17 intercontinental ballistic missile, which is capable of reaching targets deep into the United States. Another adversary is China, which also recently undertook a bomber elephant walk of its own. Similarly to the US, this walk also involved eight of the country's most advanced, most capable bombers, the H-6Ks. Also similarly to the US, China is also working on a new bomber aircraft known as the Xi'an H-20. The H-20 is expected to, like the new American B-21, draw heavily from designs of the B-2. And we'll get to it in a bit, but first, let's meet the B-2's legitimate successor. Let's meet the B-21 Raider. Rollout in 2022 and first flight in 2023, the B-21 is expected to take to the sky soon in its full glory as an advanced, very long-range, large, heavy-payload stealth intercontinental strategic bomber for the U.S. Referencing President Theodore Roosevelt's Speak Softly and Carry a Big Stick foreign policy, the B-21 is the U.S.'s new big stick, the biggest stick of all. It will be a multifunctional aircraft that can perform a wide array of tasks, including reconnaissance and surveillance where it gathers valuable intel, battle management where it interacts with and connects allies across multiple domains, and as a sixth-generation global precision attack platform where it combines stealth, payload, and long-range strike to deliver America's most powerful weapons to the most critical targets on the most important missions. This B-21 invincibility comes from a number of factors that define how decisive a modern aircraft could be, the first one being stealth. Drawing from five decades of advancements in low observable technology, the B-21 will be built from the ground up as a stealth aircraft. Alignment of edges, serrated skin panels, masking of the engine with fiber mat skin, and an overall flying wing shape are only some of what to expect as more details are released on the new aircraft. The B-21, like the B-2, will also likely be painted in anti-reflective paint to reduce optical visibility during daylight flights. The undersides will be such that at altitudes of over 50,000 feet, the bomber will blend perfectly into the sky. To ensure it continues to blend with the sky at whatever time, an upward-facing light sensor will be on board the B-21 to alert the pilot to increase or reduce altitude to match the changing illuminance of the sky. 
All of these combined to have an invisible bomber that not even the best air defense systems could spot as it cruises overhead. Avionics To make the B-21 more effective than previous bombers, the aircraft will feature many advanced and modern avionics systems that form a single integrated system. Some of these unit systems include a multi-mode radar, a fully digital navigation system integrated with terrain-following radar and GPS guidance, an astro-inertial navigation system to navigate using orbiting bodies in space, an ASA radar, an electronic warfare system, a distributed aperture system, an electro-optical targeting system, among others. Link 16 and a high-frequency satellite link are used for battlefield communications and a defense management system to inform the flight crew of possible threats and allow changes to the auto router's mission planning information while in flight so it can receive new data quickly to plan a route that minimizes exposure to the discovered dangers for members of the fleet. Thus, the B-21 as a central point in the sensor fusion system would, much like the F-35 Lightning II fighter, be an intelligent battle manager. Armament Much like its predecessor, the B-21 will be capable of carrying over 30,000 pounds of armament, consisting of a variety of nuclear weapons like the B-61 Variable Yield Nuclear Gravity Bomb and the Long Range Standoff Nuclear Cruise Missile. But that's far from all it will carry. The B-21 will likely be equipped to handle a large number of conventional weapons that will enable the aircraft to play an active role in combat operations around the world. Absorbing the ability of one of its older colleagues, the B-1 Lancer, the B-21 would be able to launch Lockheed Martin's long-range anti-ship missile. It would also likely wield many modern weapons like Boeing's GPS-guided Joint Direct Attack Munition, which are designed to engage targets from the greatest distances. All of these would make the B-21 the ideal stealth aircraft to engage surface combatant ships in places like the South China Sea. To keep up with an ever-evolving battlefield, the B-21 was designed with an open architecture that enables it quickly and easily to take on new updates. With these limitless capabilities and more, the B-21 Raider comes at a wallet-zapping unit price of about $630 million. However, this doesn't exceed the Air Force's price tag requirements as the service already knew by the early 2010s how much it would take to build a bomber that could stand its ground easily against even its biggest competitors. The B-21 is up against the Pak Da and the Shan H-20. These are its biggest competitors. Unlike many major events, the head-to-head -head lineup came from the likeliest of sources, the US, Russia, and China. All three aircraft are similar in many ways, which makes the future of the bomber space quite an interesting one. All three are to be long-range, low-observable strategic bombers for their respective air forces. They all have the same flying wing design and consequently would all have subsonic top speeds. All three are expected to be armed with heavy payloads of cruise missiles, hypersonic missiles, precision conventional and nuclear bombs, and also wield the most advanced electronic warfare and stealth technologies their countries could offer. However, if decades of history are anything to go by, Russia hardly prioritizes stealth over artillery, and so the Pak Da will likely be significantly less stealthy than the B-21 and H-20. It would, however, hold the most weapons, though, up to 80,000 pounds, a stark contrast to the confirmed 30,000-plus pounds of the B-21 and the currently unstated 1,000 pounds of the H-20. It is worth noting, though, that the U.S. has far greater experience in stealth and in developing bombers. Therefore, in a conversation of stealth bombers, it will probably take the lead. In terms of timelines, it already has, as the B-21 is currently the only one of the three to have been unveiled and soon to join its predecessors in service as the second flying wing bomber of the U.S. Air Force. But what would be of the first, the B-2 Spirit, After 13 years of development, the B-21 is expected to enter service by 2027. It will become a key component of America's strategic bomber force and work alongside upgraded B-52 bombers. With time, it will replace the supersonic B-1 Lancer and its sibling, the B-2 Spirit, as it brings an end to the over three decades of bomber dominance that has accompanied the B-2 Spirit, a stellar career which the B-21 must now live up to. The Air Force is optimistic, though. The service is leaning towards buying as many as 100 B-21s and possibly going as high as 145 units. 
multiple times larger than their fleet of B-2s ever was. So the new formation is set, and the future American top-of-the-line bomber is none other than the just-unveiled, highly advanced B-21 Raider. And surely, if the bomber could make requests, it would ask that its reign be peaceful, that its hangars be air-conditioned, and that you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So do so now, in the name of the B-21 Raider. Thanks for watching.